Hello everyone and welcome back. It's time for complexity versus liquid. Cash, no less. Opinions. When Liquid were at home, they uh, played cash against complexity. And if I'm not mistaken, they won 16-2. Is that correct, Mr. Producer Reese? Producer Reese says yes, it was correct. So we've shoved all our... And they started on the T side as well. Holy crap. So we've shoved all our unicorns on complexity for an upset here. Well, you I'm did. slightly concerned, Dan. Well, you did. I, I started Where was producer Reese with this information before we donked 200 unicorns? Stop, stop using the royal we. It was. I just want to solely place the responsibility on you. You went mad. You went crazy. There's this weird look in your eyes as you, uh, as you saw all the potential monies that could be won. Well, complex you degenerates. <laughs> well, complexity is starting on the uh, T side this, on this occasion. And maybe this is better for them because you know they, ha they have the freedom to uh, allow Semphis to do what Semphis does. We've got double dual Beretta play. It's Roka. It's Roka. I was proven correct by the uh, North American audience. Don't believe them. Night. Don't believe what do they know. Well, I've had this from many sources. Fine, it's Roka. All the, all the sources. I'm probably still going to call him Roka up, uh, subconsciously without realizing. So forgive me. Complexity with a very, very slow start. They know, Dan. They know that I've got unicorns riding on this match. This is why. This is the sole reason why, Dan. Did you tweet them? No. So, what is the play? You can see they're just mate, they're just watching, looking for some aggression from Team Liquid, but Team Liquid will be as static. They got quad Berettas. They'll be as static as DDK's Love Life. That is. That is <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I saw that your cut, heart sank. That cut sink. <laughs> that, <laughs> well, that cuts deep. Let's, they're going to go for the B split, it looks like. We've got a CT uh, in the corner there with the Julies. Ego coming up. Boom. Cowboy style from dusk till dawn. Headshots all over the place. And you look like you're still reeling from my trolling. Shut up. <laughs> oh, dear. I think I've lost a friend. Team Liquid off to a good start. Our unicorns are getting further, further away than they were one round ago. So many footsteps to be heard as uh, the Julies continue on to Adren and uh, Nitro on this occasion, actually. Maybe they were thrown over, I don't know. Yeah, they swapped them around. Everyone wants to go on the Julies. So the push is just going to come into the A bomb site. And they forced off, actually, a complexity. Okay, Fugly's going to get the first frag. Bombs down now as well. Look at the spray through the smoke. That is not a nice sight there if you're a player on complexity side. Semphis is the last man standing, and he's not going to be standing very much longer. He is no longer vertical. He is now very, very much horizontal, and uh, they invested fully in that. They actually they four spot and they got absolutely zero from it. That sucks. They didn't even get a bomb down. Didn't even get a kill. I want to see Semphis with an AWP, but he's only got sixteen hundred dollars, Dan. So it may take a while. Yep. And that's that's one of the the things there. Like you saw, Peter was echoing for the AWP, although he was on the CT side, and then things got a bit weird, so he couldn't afford one anyway. But I, I would get Semphis on an orb as a priority here. I wouldn't have him forced by necessarily. There we go. He's gonna get he's gonna get himself one kill. One play down. Adren's down to one HP. You can see him just bouncing around near the forklift area. There's a dink coming onto Bugly as well. But there are more players streaming in for the defense. Semphis down to three HP himself. And that's gonna be the end of that. So the buy coming out for complexity, we can expect four or five AKs to be coming out for them. Again, that AWP's going to be so key for them if they can get their hands on it, but it may not be soon. Nitro picking up the AWP. Will he throw it over to Adren, or is he going to rock with it? Looks like he might be using it himself. If, I, if I'm if i not mistaken, I think I read somewhere that uh, Lick, one of Liquid's players was practicing to be a second AWP. Maybe it was Nitro. Yeah, I would... Say more likely be Fugly? I don't know though. I but really don't know. I, I, I can't remember for the life of me which player it was, but Nitro is the one holding the AWP at the moment. I would be surprised if it was Nitro, but who knows? I mean, it could be very situational, but I'll look at that. Uh, Duran with the, uh, the, model, the incendiary there. All the, the ricochets. We're hearing all the ricochets. The bomb coming out through the smoke on its own. We saw this yesterday as well, if I'm not mistaken, and now we're seeing it today. I do not recall what player, what team it, it was. It was actually for. Valen. Okay. Very nice memory there. So uh, this time I think it was Sanks doing it. 
And th that just crushes around for them because they have to push, they have no choice but to push this area because the bomb is here. It's going to be pretty hard to, to do that, as you can see. Is on the boost. Well, Semphis is going to die <laughs> pretty soon. Oh dear. Embarrassing. He's now just a smear on the on the boost spot. So Liquid doing a good job in keeping themselves in prime position to keep the domination going. And complexity they need to really they need to really get some kills. I mean they're gonna be put on some pistols here. They should be able to fall a few deagles. We got a few deagles in the mix. They need to get at least like three kills here. Because Liquid's economy is starting to get out of control. Nitro is on the orb, Adrenaline is just chilling with the famine still. He's not gonna get rid of that unless he dies. Or I can pick up an AK or something for free. So they're playing incredibly economically soundly just to make sure that they can uh, go strong into this game. And complexity, they need to stop that. They need to keep them honest. Do you remember that old song that went something like, Give me a reason to love you? No. Give me a reason to love you. Something like that. Well, it's like, Give me a reason to buy a better gun. Is what Adrenaline is saying. And he hasn't got a reason yet because complexity is being cut down again. It's a situation where they've, they've bought a bunch of pistols and one smoke, but they have... Like we saw in a previous match from Follow Esports, they executed towards B with the one smoke and the flashbangs. Although complexity again just seems to be playing for the picks. And they're not working out. Only Nitro going down. He was carrying the orb as well, but they have a player who can pick that one up. And they don't have a, any way that they can lose positioning on the site, so there's no way that the, that the orb will not be picked up by somebody. In fact, the Dren's now grabbed it. And the push is going to come into the A site. It's going to take some ridiculous shots here from yeah. Sanks and Valens to pull this one off. Now, Sanks is going to go in. He's going to get immediately killed. And I fear the same fate is going to be in the hands of Valens here as he makes his way through the checkpoint, or at least attempts to. He was, he's not going to get through. He's going to get shut down. So, 5 0 is the score as Complexity are going to be able to get the buy in now. And a strong bite is going to be. We can see op We can potentially see ops on their side. Let's see what they d uh, opt to go for. And. Will Nitro pick up an AWP, or will he stay on a rifle? Looks like he might be just, he's not even bought Kevlar yet. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, the AWP is going to go to him. So maybe, maybe you're right. I, it, I'm, it remains a mystery to me for now. <laughs> I, I'm not really sure I know what's going on there. But 5-0 to Team Liquid. Complexity finally on the buy once again. And they will be traded. Adrian going to get nade kill rather than the AWP and he will go down. To Sanks, and now Complexity will advance into mid, which is going to have to be abandoned by Team Liquid for now, at the very least. You can see Elige playing the sneaky spot with Silenced M4 as well. Good weaponry for this position. We'll see if, if he comes into play a bit later on. But again, it's the entire Complexity side in the mid area. When we saw it in the last match, we generally for uh, for Cloud9, they had a lurker towards the B bomb site. Complexity opting to move through Z Connector. We'll see if they continue all the way. There's nobody watching CT spawn at the moment. You can see Hito suddenly moving in that direction as they realize as time ticks, this may be more likely. But again, Complexity just waiting, waiting, waiting for a peek from Team Liquid. But Team Liquid aren't going to give them. They, they, they know that this is what Complexity want. They want them to pick. They want these uh, these one-on-one -on -one engagements. But the CTs are not willing to give it to them. So Complexity moving into... It's almost like a reverse B split now because they've got a player in CT, but he's going to be sandwiched between two CTs himself. Now things working out for Complexity. Absolutely. However, the players are quite weakened already. Despite being a man up, they've got to be careful about that. And there's two players on the bomb site itself, so Roka's going to be close. Incendiary in there from Fugly. They're going to move in through. Oh, the pre fire coming in through the smoke. Fugly will eliminate Roka immediately. They can absolutely go for this now after the, the, the fast frag there. Nice cursory spam through the metal shutter. And they aren't being too quick about this. They have to go for it now. The bomb is getting kind of uh, a hard tick at this point. Nitro will eliminate Valens finally. Sanx has to peek. He's got to go for it. The flash comes in. He is really playing the time and it's going to be Nitro to eliminate him. Good cover there. And that 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 peek and just shot through the smoke onto Ro Roka really made the difference there. Look at their money, James. Look at their money. Fuel. It's fuel tier, Dan. It's fuel tier. They have um, cartoon ducks swimming around in the vaults. They are so rich. In, all, in amongst all the gold coins. I don't know that reference. Um, what's this? The, Sco the Scrooge McDuck? More of, a, McDuck? more of a Bugs Bunny type. I don't know. Anyway, I was more of a Popeye man, to be honest with you. 
you know why I love spinach, Dan? Because of Popeye. Because of Popeye. I want it to be strong like him, but minus the uh, anchor tattoos. So complexity with the bomb in squeaky door. The their intentions must seem obvious in Elige in the vent now. There's a play on short as you can see there for Team Liquid, so they've got a bit of a rotation, but there's only well they actually there are two people on the uh, a bomb site because they are standing on atop of one another. So we'll see what the play is here. Rocker just uh, holding an angle towards B, not making any noise or trying to get any entries, not trying to pull any rotation in. So I wonder what his role is here with the bomb definitely committed to the A site. Anyway, it seems we're going to have a bit of an execute coming in now for complexity. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, they're getting close to this goose spot. I think they spotted as well. There's the drop off, but they will get the frags liquid. So they are doing a really good job here defending against this big push. However, they cannot stand in any robust manner against the flames. They are finally going to fall. And now it's going to be a tough situation, but the bomb's not yet been planted, and the drone has the reticle placed firmly on the bomb planted spot. They're so waiting for Rocker. Great shot there. Good flick from Redren. That is going to create an excellent situation here. Elige is left standing now, but then the bomb is going down. Valens has to get it planted. There's no time. That's going to give Elige a lot of information as to what's happening and free entrance, free passage, a free pass. Not only into the site, but into a round win. Gets the defuse as well. And uh, Liquid 7-0. So they, they had, they had uh, Roka, if you will. Over towards the B-bomb site, very deep in a position where he can't, he's not in a position to stop rotations. He did get a, he did get a rotation frag from the last player uh, coming out of B, but then after that, he's so far away from the site, you saw they were just waiting on Quad for him to come up short to help them, but then uh, they boosted somebody on top of the barrels there. Got taken down in isolation, no trade possible because Roka wasn't in a position. So, uh, didn't work out. I was wondering why he didn't go for a, a faster peak. I think it may have been more effective in pulling more CTs away, so maybe complexity get onto the site with more players, I don't know, but... There we go, Complexity. We'll get the bomb plant down. That means they'll be on the buy once more. Three orps for CTs, Dan. Three. Yeah, that might be overdoing it, i got to say. I'll have to see if it'll pay off, because again, those orps are not cost efficient. Um, they, may, they might win you rounds, but as far as you know, the math goes, they're not very cost efficient. So if you lose them immediately, that is a big, big loss on your monies. But we'll have to see. I mean, they do have a lot of money. That's perhaps why they're deciding to go with this. But Roka's going to open up onto a leash. They've taken middle, have Complexity. And Adren is looking to try to get a look in there by the connector area, but he's not going to be able to do so. The smoke is blocking him off, and the B split is availed. It is afforded by Complexity's mid control. Nico will spot some uh, some players moving through vents. Now looks for the flicks. He's going to find the head of Roka. He's going to send it rolling across the floor. This is looking fantastic right now. It's like the French Revolution up in the B bomb site as we have two players left standing for complexity and in comes automatic on the flank. He, the stepping, the thunder footing will be detected by Adren, but he won't be able to spot the angle. And now it's down to the two remaining CTs. Hiko still on the bomb site. Can he be clutched? They're both going to go towards headshot. He's wrapping around the side. They haven't spotted his position. He's going to scan through, gets the shot onto automatic. Will Hiko stop? He's got an extra player to find. Still alive is Valens up on top of the trade. Oh, what a shot from Hiko. Immense clutch play from him. And that's what he's there for. But with the AWP, who would have thought it? Never saw that one coming from Hiko. Very nice clutch by him. They make the three AWPs work. An expensive round though, and they're going to have to buy up a lot of Guns again, they're going to go back down to the one orp it seems. Nope, Nitro going to go for the second. So, Team Liquid changing things up very drastically here. Complexity yet to find a round on the board. Adren with a good start, Valens getting punished. And that is a massive jump onto uh, that object there, and Tempest just cannot get the spray down. Adren, can he get any more frags? Almost gets a third one, but he will get taken down finally by Sanx, but the damage has been done to the Complexity personnel. Yeah, that looked like an eco round the way that they were kind of charging him down, but in fact they had rifles, so the one for two is not bad indeed. However, Roka is in a very ridiculous position, somehow finding his way. I think he, I think Hiko just allowed him to walk into CT and backstab his teammates. That is uh, quite the bait, but if he can save the round, then that's going to be okay. He did just do an enormous clutch in the previous round. And let's not forget that he did buy three orps in that previous round as well, so... Nitro is going to finally come to Roka. Can he possibly do this, though? Two players left alive here on the post plant. Definitely can. Let's see where that smoke has gone. Getting some flashes out. And uh, the Cs, I'm not sure if they're in a position to trade here. So 
maybe Nitro can get his way onto the site, but I'm assuming that this bomb's been planted. The, the bomb has indeed been planted for checkers. So we got a push here, going to go far beyond the angle of automatic. So complexity make their way onto the scoreboard here. But is it too late, that? Well, I mean, the money's really weird for Liquids. I don't know if it's too late just yet. I mean, Liquid have, uh, have a situation where they have to spend pretty much all their bank because of, you know, going for the triple orbs. This is the impact that it's had. If we, I mean, they had a really sick economy, but they, they blew it all. And now that's going to afford a complexity, the ability to maybe reset them more or less immediately if they can string two rounds together. That's really the question here. They cannot win this round. Complexity are really screwed if they can't win this round. Really screwed. Well, I've got a counter flash coming in, and Tico should hear many feet around the B bomb site, but no push yet from complexity. Tico will be aware that that angle can be spotted by the T. So he'll go for the advancement traded by Rocker now. Three versus four as complexity move into the site again, just playing for the picks here. Just want the engagements, want the frags. Nitro coming in for the for counter flashes, but they're just posturing now. Liquid just positioning for the retake. They hear the plant and instantly they start moving in. Yeah, there's uh, some key moments found there. Nitro's going to take a player one for one, but that's still good for the CTs. They're three versus two in this, into this one. Alige, excellent place there. And now uh, Valencia is burning alive on the back of the bomb site. Uh, Valencia's barbecue there for all remaining players of Liquid. Defuse will come in and I, I said it complexly weren't able, to, weren't able to win this. They'd be screwed. They got the bomb down at least. So that's an extra $800 for everybody on the team despite losing the round so they can at least force if they really want to but if they if they opted to just save one then they could uh, they could have a proper buy but they're going to force it up it's really weird to try and discern what who the best team in America is because if you measure them by their opponents in North America then you would argue that team liquid probably are but if you measure them by um, their performances against the Europeans then maybe you'd say something else so but, but Liquid again looking so disciplined here and it, it, they, the victory seems, I mean the, the lead here just seems to come down to discipline to me and uh, decision making. But here we go, save for those triple orbs actually which have hurt their economy long term but still they have an 8 round lead complexity with just that one round on the board for now so can't really complain too much. So what is the play here from Complexity? Again, they've got uh, Rocker lurking towards the B-bomb site with the rest of the team towards A. We've got the smoke execute coming in. Nitro going to get caught with a grenade in his hand. It's a good start for Complexity, but they haven't committed just yet, even though they've got one person deep onto the site. Yeah, it's going to be tough here for Liquid to retake this. This is a really clean entry. And it's forced by Complexity. Adren's going to be in though with the AK. He'll take down Stemphus. So kind of working his way and shimmying into the bomb site though, but Alicia's going to go uh, go down as well. So losing men here, it's just Hiko, one versus four. I'm not, I don't think this is going to happen again. He is too far away, and he's actually really far away. It's like he didn't even bother to rotate. It's like, well, lost the round, guys. Maybe right, he's maybe know. he's streaming, and this is where I clutch with the AWP. And then a guy jumps up here, and then I will scroll scroll my mouse up and shoot him straight in the face. My name's Hiko. Buy my cap. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a Hiko cap? I don't. Have you seen my head? You, I'm not wearing a cap anytime soon. Can ask him to supersize you a cap. I, he, he he do it for you, man. If, cap, you, if, you, if you follow him on Twitter, maybe he'd do it. You should see me go karting. The the bottom of the visor is where my eyes are, and I have to tilt my head forward to see where I'm driving. It's ridiculous. That's why I'll never be on a motorbike because my my head helmet would look like a cannon. Your head helmet. Yeah, as opposed to my elbow helmet or something. Anyway, t Team Liquid now on the Eco, so finally their economy has come to a close. Now this is a good opportunity for Complexity to get some rounds on the board, some rounds they so sorely need to give themselves an opportunity in the second half. So far, so good on this anti-Eco. Two more players to find. Two more players indeed. It, and it's really interesting because I feel like a lot of this stems from the fact that they bought three orbs. Agreed. So it's it's really interesting, you know, did they take too much liberty there? I, I would argue that, that yes, <laughs> yes they did. Because, you know, the implications in the economy is a pretty big risk. Um, and it's not even a risk where I'm like, okay, if it, pay, like high risk, high reward, it's like, it's like high risk, kind of, mm, yeah, not really much of a reward at all. It doesn't, look, doesn't make sense. Two orbs, okay. All right. Unless you're, an, unless you're unless you're an Oceania, 
You should not be buying three up. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, yeah. Anyway, moving on from that, they are down a man, Liquid, and they could be down another man because Fugly is going to be uh, spotted and flushed out of that position. However, do they realise that he's there? It doesn't seem that they do. And Semphis, oh, no. oh my God, he's going to run straight into his crosshair actually, but he's going to get the frag regardless, and that is going to be insanely frustrating. Oh no, I can't believe it. I thought that they saw him because they. they yeah, that's the entire it. purpose of the setup. Yeah, that's the, that's the point of throwing a Molotov there. You don't just throw it there for the sake of throwing it there. You throw it, and then if there's somebody there, you wait for a couple of seconds to see if they'll, they'll actually run out. He did stay tight to the angle, but he definitely showed like a shoulder or something. Mm. Definitely. That's, that's why I thought that he, he was spotted. But anyway, we've got uh, Sanks looking for the save right now. He's going to get challenged by two players immediately, and that's going to be the round for Liquid. And that does not bode well for complexity as. Uh, they will have a buy in this round, but uh, okay, th their money is much better than I thought. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> one of those, one of those. So at least Tempest gets on another AWP. Four AKs for the rest of the team. Actually, it's pretty much a full buy from the uh, T. So yeah. th at least there's that. But they need rounds, not buys. They need they need to go all the way here. We've only got three rounds on the board so far. Dren's been naded on the uh, white box to uh, 60 HP again. That's a very good nade. That we need to see more often. Complexity going for a straight up A play here. No intel, just going to go in. And the trend's abandoned mid, maybe expecting this from Complexity. Good start, Senfus going down. Liquid well positioned to have a crossfire as they try and push a smoke the tease, and that's not going to work out for them. Fuckly going to try and spray his way in case there's, there's any more aggression. So Complexity gone for the gamble, but they are being wiped out one by one here. This is genocide, Dan. Well, it's a pretty strong word, but... It's definitely a brutal massacre of these players from Complexity. And so, uh, oh dear, it's not a good look indeed. Oh, they're going to have to, they, 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 what are they going to do on the second half? I don't even know. Don't even know. They have to take it round for rounds. But so uh, let's see if they can claim their fourth round in this one. They're going to have an awful buy. But maybe the fast execute style of play can work out for them. In fact, pre in previously, previously one rounds for them, even though there's not been many of them. One of them was, was an A execute off of Tech Knights. So... Either way, looks like the fast push is going to come in. Elise will be the first man of contact. And uh, now it's on Eco. He gets two, but how many more can he find? He's got the 5-7 out now. He's dead, Dan. He's dead. 12-3. to three, And our unicorns are disappearing in front of our eyes, Dan. Big surprise there. <laughs> Complexity. Need the pistol. And pretty much every other round in the second half. All the rounds. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. All of it. Pretty much. They need 13 rounds. If they don't take the pistol down, this could be a fast one. Yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty tough if they don't take the pistol. I mean, okay, if they don't take the pistol, it can be a blessing in disguise if you're somehow able to, you know, win that kind of 20, 30% uh, force buy. Usually for most teams, it's probably the statistic is probably around 20 to 30% win rate. Unless you're envious, then it's 40 to 45% win rate after losing the pistol and then having to win a force buy. Um, envious are pretty damn sick at winning their force buys with the pistols. They are so sick. It's amazing to watch them do it, actually. It's actually amazing. Against the best teams in the world, no less. Either way, it's going to be... Uh, let's see what the strategy is going to look like here from both sides. So from complexity, it's a 2-1-2 two, two setup. So pretty passive. They're going to look into a main. And from liquids, they are spread out. Look, they are playing reactively at the moment, early into the rounds. Indeed, and they know complexity likes to be aggressive. Is he going to try and catch people in a door area? Oh, that's a nice smoke towards the car position, actually. I haven't seen some that being thrown over by the door before. But the bomb's being pushed towards the B bomb site, and Rocker's getting three frags. He's crushing this round for his team. Hiko doing what he can, but he's the only one remaining now versus four with no armor, just a tech nine. I say just, but it is a tech nine. Although it is a pistol round as well. Ooh, being tagged now. And uh, he is surely not going to last too much longer here. Semphis can't get too close, though. Automatic coming in to make the save. Complexity win the pistol. They've passed the first test, but they've got eight more to find before they tie things up here versus Liquid. Yeah, and again, there's a real possibility Liquid might just force by. Well, they should force by here, of course. I, I mean, there's no reason why they should never be... Well, they, sh they should never say. Oh, well, it, it seems there is a reason, that. Well, they're actually going to go halfway. That's really interesting. I wonder, because the thing is, though, if, if you're going to do this and then buy, let's say, try to force buy in the next round, um, surprise buy, as they used to be, Complexity are going to be aware of that because they're expecting a force buy here because you have to eco twice anyway. So to see a Glock and two P three P250s and a Tech-9, that is a really low investment. So it does feel like they might try to surprise buy in the next round 
Or maybe just full save. Maybe they just want to lose them up. It's hard to say, but uh, they're going to move into the grinder now on the A bomb site. Well, just one frag, and that's not the one that's going to allow them to get the bomb down. And the TTs are here too far, so the uh, little investment has not paid off for Liquid. And again, let's see what this uh, discipline, the purpose of this discipline. Surprise Will it continue it? here? I think they're just going for two hard ecos. That's really weird, actually. Especially considering that you have complexity on the ropes. Um, they're in a situation where, you know, if, if they do win that, like, 30% chance on the force buy, then boom, they, they actually win the game there. They actually bas basically win the match there. So that's one of the reasons why I would have ex definitely expected it. But, yeah, you're right. They're going... Uh, a little bit more investment this time. But then you'd also wonder, why not just throw all this investment they're throwing into this round, into the previous round, to have a higher chance to win that one round that really counts? That's a good question, Dan. One that we may never find the answer out for. But again, they've got the... The bomb's just coming out of A main now. They have the smoke down towards the car. The bomb's being taken down in isolation. And uh, they're not going to get a bomb plant. So I wonder, they had one smoke down. They left quad open. But the smoke didn't seem positioned for a short plant, so I guess they wanted to leave quite open to take the sights and get a plant. Either way, it didn't work out, and uh, they are going to come in for the buy, which will be four AKs, five AKs. It is definitely quite an interesting uh, approach, in a very unusual uh, series of decisions. Well, a double eco, but essentially gives them more grenades in this round. It does, yeah. So they can execute, and they're, they are. The team probably most able to execute. Oh, the timing! Valens is wondering. Oh, get wrecked. Why? Was that, was that, that was a double nade as well. Yeah, yeah, two nades. The timing, liquid timing on grenades is awesome to watch. Again, like they have the double nades towards train B as well for rushes, which we've seen wreck people, but that's a nice one. They are definitely studying. They've got the, uh, the train spotters logging all the times here. Ooh. Yeah, but the push is not going to go well. Where are the entries at? Where are the entries at? We got there's the, we, uh, we had a little James, words are hard. They're very difficult. The bomb's down and it's in control of the complexity side. Adren <laughs> going down pretty much closes out this round as it's Hiko remaining. Although it's 45 seconds and we know Hiko's capable of the clutch, but that's not going to help. Getting tagged as he jumps down. Senfis goes down. He's got himself another 1v1 opportunity versus Rocker if he can spot his position. Rocker holding the passive angle now, just trying to bait for his team. But Hiko knows that the bait's coming in. However, Valenz with the wide peak will shoot Hiko straight in the head, and that will mark the end of the round. AWP being picked up as well. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be a, a situation now for complexity where they can actually start to really, really genuinely close this gap and uh, threaten Liquid's lead massively. Because once the CT economy starts getting healthy, as long as they don't do anything crazy, like buy three orbs, where you really risk your, the integrity of your economy in the, in the immediate future, as Liquid did, then, hey, maybe they can, they can win those 13 rounds that they need. However, Liquid, they've got some pistols to play with. Maybe they can get some damage in here. That's what they're playing for. It's, it's a, couple, a couple frags or a bomb plant. Both is a massive bonus, I would say, in a round like this. Plexi needs to try to avoid that. They've got three players in position to defend, actually four in position to defend against A. So Liquid, they would be very, it would be a foolhardy choice to get themselves into the A bomb site. And they have put a lot of pressure there, so they can logically assume that there should be at least three players for Complexity defending the A site specifically at the moment. They actually have a guy poking into B as well. I think it's either Elige or Fugly. Yeah, it's Fugly, and he's found himself into the vent position. This is really good. If he gets a pick here, this round could be alive. Liquid. Okay, no pick on B. So, the A split is uh, not going to happen because everyone's going to get shot on the short. So, two versus four now. There are some players heavily tagged, though. They could actually take the site now because Automatic's on the site. He's only got 22 HP. They only need one shot, but just going to plant in the smoke is Adren, while his teammate gets sprayed down to 2 HP. Automatic finishing off Adren as well, and this should be... Complexities indeed, the nade kind of finishing things off here. So they are catching up with Team Liquid now. Yeah, but uh, two frags and a bomb plant is kind of the uh, best case, more or less. Uh, well, I guess you could argue that, <laughs> well, best case is winning the round. But best kind of realistic case for that kind of investment and that kind of a round. So that's going to be a good shout for Team Liquids. And uh, if we look at complexity, after losing those two men, their economy is not really in the best place at all. They do have Roko sitting on. 9k so he's pretty healthy on the money but the rest of them not so much so it's a really uh, big chance here for liquid to win if they win this round to just kind of stop the madness immediately and 
with uh, with the AWP on Semphis though, you got to be careful because he's very he loves to go for aggression. So I would expect Liquid to play some, pa some passive openings to just make sure they're safe against the Semphis factor because the Semphis factor is a pretty huge factor in complexity winning CT rounds. I got to say. I cannot disagree with you, Dan. So let's see, what is the play from Liquid here? Again, they're trying to, seems they're trying to prey on the aggression of Complexity, but Complexity being patient now. Again, we are seeing an, a, a new and improved Complexity on the right path. Will it continue here? We will have to see. Nitro just holding an angle, just waiting for Complexity to maybe get a bit irritated, a bit impatient here. We're going down to Navi times now with this bomb. Still in T Warehouse. Yeah, just poking around still towards the A main area. I mean, Liquid really, lo really, really would like a pick in this situation, but it's very laboured at this point. They're slowly moving further and further towards the A bomb site with those two players, and Elise will finally get a frag there, going in towards Forklift. The bomb is uh, towards Beast, and they're actually going to go straight back now that the A site has been proven to be cleared by the fellow Liquid players, or Elise, who's actually picked up three kills. He's wiped out the defense single-handedly, leaving Complexity in a position with two players left alive, and the money as it is, they're going to go for a save. Yeah, really interesting stuff here from Team Liquid. He's getting those frags elsewhere. The bomb finally going down, and now Flynn's and Rocker, they have a lot of money at least, so uh, we'll see. L Liquid looking to survive with four players. We'll see if they opt to hunt for these CTs, or if they choose to try and keep their money intact, because they are quite lacking in that regard. AWP being picked up for the T side as well. If we check the money complexity, we can see how... Yeah, so yeah, they're going to... If they lose these two weapons, that's going to be awesome for Liquids because they're going to have to go for a full rebuy and they'll get $1,400 in addition to what they have now. So that's Roker spending basically all of his money, especially if they want an AWP. So that would basically wipe out all of the money. So it would have been really nice for Liquid to get those two kills, but as you, as you mentioned, they wanted to protect their own economy um, and just let let uh, their complexity be. But we'll see how that actually affects the situation. Complexity going a little bit, uh, uh, they're not going for the AWP as well, which they could have done, but they're keeping some money on Roka, which is actually quite smart. Well, let's see if Complexity can hold on, if they can hang in there. They're not too far away, but Liquid are definitely too close to the uh, final stages in terms of score. Liquid taking initial map control, the default. Just taking what's rightfully theirs. Keeping a passive eye on A main in case of a flash push from the Complexity. Who are not deep into A at the moment. We're looking to hold control of the mid area. See the initial nades coming in from Liquid. Still lots of nades on the Complexity side. That nade will do a bit of damage. Over to Adren is looking for an engagement. Towards the white box or the sugar cube if you will. And Liquid will leave a man... In the mid area, just hidden away behind the vents. And again, just looking for a pick here from Complexity. Looking to prey on the patience or impatience of the CT side. Yeah, that's that's a really big deal in a situation like this. Who's going to give up the ghost first? Ooh, the flick comes in. Adrenaline will miss the shot, though, as Automatic is going to be discovered at the core position. But the smokes will go down. That's going to give him an opportunity to go close. And Complexity are doing a good job defending this. Automatic goes in as well, past the smoke. And where's the refrag? It is going to come in there, allowing the bomb to go down. But Hiko and Nitro are critically wounded, especially Hiko. He's going to peek out. It's Nitro. He'll get the quick frag. But Roka in for the return, leaving a 12 hp or 12, 12 health on Hiko. So it's going to be pretty tough to actually do this. And Nate's going to sail in. It's going to be a Molotov. Hiko is going to get uh, pushed around by those grenades. And that is going to allow Roker an easy frag. So the round will be saved by Complexity. Nine Can rounds now for them. Definitely not a good idea to trade weapons at the end of the round instead of the beginning of the next round. That's how you lose weapons. Yeah, that's, yeah this happened to me. It's it's really disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds so sad, Dan. It's not like, even like a boy who's opened his uh, his Thomas the Tank Engine lunchbox to find a rotten apple. Four round lead for Team Liquid. They find a buy again. They can continue the pressure onto the complexity side. This time opting for a fast play towards mid, which has been abandoned by the CT. But can they hold on to the round? Through the smoke down will Sanks go early on. Strong advantage for Liquid now. Map control. 
and the man advantage. Complexity with no information. Wherever this push may come, they will have little warning. Yeah, we're going to have the B split in from Tick Team Liquids. Ooh. Double, double fire the headshot. The fire damage does not stack, but they're going to throw two just to be sure. And it's going to be Roka picking up the kill there. He's forced to the corner, uh, back against the wall. He's going to finally get eliminated as Valenz is looking for a stalwart defense on this bomb site. And he's going to pick up a couple kills. He's doing a good job so far. Two versus two now on the retake for Complexity. Oh, Sentus will miss the cross shot as the bomb can now go down safely. But can Liquid hold on to this situation? Yeah, they've got a... Hiko with the angle towards headshot and Adren will ideally be covering Hiko's angle as well. That gap will definitely help. So can Complexity do this? Just a simple spray down through the smoke to kill Semphis. Down to automatic now. It's going to get traded, of course. That's another round on the board and uh, Complexity are now in very dangerous waters. Look at the money remaining on their team. What, do they, what is their player? Do they play for overtime or do they go for the force? The force, of course. Yeah, it's going to be pretty hard for them to pull this one off. I mean, aggression, it would be a, t a timely run for aggression. I mean, if they just play passively, Liquid have shown that they're actually quite good at abusing that on this map, taking this slowly, snapping in a B-split or something, very effective. And you can see that Liquid are anticipating an aggression, but that doesn't, nece doesn't necessarily mean that if you, if you, uh, that you can't uh, find a way to gamble into the correct one. And you can always find timings for it as well, depending on the kind of pace you're expecting from the T side. Because, for example, Liquid could, could sit like this for 20 seconds, or it could be 40 seconds. You actually don't know. If you have a good read on the team, you can make a gamble and say, okay, we'll go for an aggression at, at around 40 seconds into the round, 50 seconds into the round, with a pop flash play or something like that. And that could be the ticket for them. But if they sit passively, I'm, I'm afraid that Liquid will walk all over them. Well... Complexity just posturing. Those five sevens will be very dangerous, especially on the A site if that is the ultimate push here of Team Liquid. And it seems that way with uh, 45 seconds left on the clock. But we saw how like the rotation was last time. This time there's no Elige though towards B wrecking people, so there won't be a rotation. The execute is about to come in from Liquid. Let's see if Complexity can get any damage in. Yeah, you got automatic in the in the back there as usual. We'll throw out the flash. The five sevens and there's a cursory glance. As the flames are blocking him from repositioning, Sykes with the run and gun, he's going to find a headshot. But there is a lot of damage coming in from Liquid at the moment, despite the fact that two players are very low. How much damage can Roka really do here? He's going to take a third player down critically low. A medic is desperately required for Team Liquid, but a medic they will not get. All they are going to get is Valenz with a 5-7. And he's got some nades as well, but as soon as he peeks out, all attention will be on the highway area. And Alicia's even going for the, the flank opportunities. This is going to be grim here for, for Valenz. He's just playing for the exits. And if he could pick up a weapon, that would be fantastic. Yeah, with no kits, there's little chance of victory in this situation. And everyone's gone everywhere except for where he is. Yeah, smart, smartly done. Terrorists win. They went in the areas that they knew were safe, apart from Elish, who braved, braved the long, long roads to be. A similar pie is, uh, is found by complexity, just the pistols. You need to summon their inner envious, their inner Frenchness to win this one. So, c possibly last chance saloon for complexity and our millions of unicorns. We'll have to wait and see. What the play is, Liquid will see how slow they choose to take this one. Been a dominating match for them so far. We'll see if it's due to end soon or if Complexity can bring things back. You can see Adren taking pot shots towards the boost spot. In case there's any CTs there. Liquid just playing the harassment game again. Playing long ranges. And you can see Complexity have abandoned mid once more. They will bank on a, a slow approach from Liquid. Pop flash is coming in towards A main. They'll spot uh, only Liquid there. Sorry, only Adren there, but uh, he will have support actually. And this is falling apart for complexity. Only three players left now. Automatic peeking, looking for the information. Information he will find. Making an escape towards the squeaky door. Not sure if, he, if they realize that. Actually, it seems that they have. Elise coming in to clean things up. Yeah, it's not going too well, is it? Roka's going to find a frag there, but that's it. Just down to Valens now again. <clears throat> and this time he's going to be committing to it. As he uh, tosses in all of his grenades, they soar into that bomb site, and they know where he is. 
And they're both going to face. And he is dead. Fugly gets the frag. 69 liquids. Again, it's, it's kind of like the, the first two maps. We see like a good first half. And then the, the second half is kind of just shut down. Well, that, actually, that said, it, was, it wasn't like that, actually, really. Thinking about it. But uh, it was definitely a good, good shot by Complexity. They did a good job. But Liquid, as you say, they're, they're very disciplined. They're one of the best teams uh, from a domestic perspective um, out there at the moment in North America. So it's, it's going to be hard to defeat them, even with the craziness that, uh, that Complexity can throw in the mix. But we didn't really see the Complexity we've seen in some of the past days as well. I, f I feel like we didn't really see, see their level today. Well, I think we've seen Im small improvements, not vast improvements in Complexity as of late. And against a team like, a team like Liquid are going to make minimal mistakes. Of a c compared to either North American teams playing against Complexity, which means Complexity are going to have less opportunities to um, do what they are good at. And another cool thing about Complexity is they they appear to be trying to add more structure and to uh, trying to tighten up their game as well, because that's yeah. where they failed before, is that they were too, way too loose and way too puggy, and it does look like they're tighter now. Yeah, yeah. so hopefully it continues in that direction. So our last match of the evening is going to be Cloud9 versus Liquid on the same map, uh, Cash. But before we head to the break, we will do another subscriber giveaway. Producer Reese, who is this victor? The winner is Dish D. Okay, Dish D, let's see what you have won, sir or madam. Julie's. Julie's? You're calling Julie's? Every time. Let me see. I guess it's just as likely as the other things that are as equally likely. <laughs> I guess that's how Thank it works. You. Thank you for that, Dan. <laughs> I'm, I, would, I would like to see a chalice. Definitely not gonna be the dragon. I wouldn't really like to see it. Oh, actually, maybe I would like to see it. Maybe dragon lore for you. It's gonna be a P90 storm. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on that one. Signed by Apex. Great. Nice. Well, with that, we will go to a break. See you in about ten minutes for the final match of the evening.